Hey guys, this is Rahul with MySmartPrice.com and today we have a brand new device uh, here for unboxing. Uh, as you can already note, uh, this is the Coolpad uh, Note 3 Lite. So this phone is supposed to be launched uh, later today by Coolpad India. The specs uh, of this phone have not been revealed officially yet, although uh, by the name itself we can uh, see that this is the uh, uh, slightly lower end version of the Coolpad Note 3. Uh, which was launched a few months ago in India. So uh, this is what the box of the Coolpad Note uh, 3 Lite looks like and uh, this is not the retail version so there is no price tag or uh, any other information that is mentioned here so there are there is no spec sheet uh, either the only thing mentioned at the back are the fact uh, that the phone supports GSM, WCDMA and uh, 4G LTE bands in India. So the color uh, of this device is champagne white so that is one of the colors that the phone will be launched in. So uh, you also have the 4G LTE logo over here which uh, signifies that the phone is uh, 4G LTE ready. Uh, we will take a detailed look at the specifications of the phone once we open up this device. We will do that uh, right away. So I'll use the cutter to slice through the box and let's see what the phone looks like. So this is what we get inside the box. This is the phone itself. I'll keep that aside and let us check what else we get inside. So we have a screen protector over here. After that, we have the user guide booklet, I believe. So this is basically a warranty card. So there is nothing else inside. We believe the retail version would get a, a quick start guide as well. So this is not the retail version, so you won't find that in here. And apart from that, we have the USB cable over here and we also have the charging adapter. I'll just take it out and read out the capacity. So here it is mentioned that this is a one amp charger uh, at five volts. So this slot is completely empty. So I'm unsure if the retail version would come with headphones. So there is a slot for the headphones as well. We will have to find out uh, when the official launch uh, happens in some time to figure out uh, if the phone does indeed come with headphones. Back to the phone now, let us check out the design aspects of the phone. Okay, so we have uh, some of the specifications mentioned on the sticker. Now this phone does come with fingerprint identification. So this is one of the cheapest devices that should get fingerprint a scanner, the Coolpad Note. As you might already know, it's around the rupees 9000 bracket. We believe this phone should be uh, slightly cheaper than the Coolpad Note. So expect at a price tag of around 7,000 to uh, 8,000. So the other uh, important feature is the 13 megapixel autofocus back camera and the 5 megapixel front focus camera, full uh, front camera. Then we have 3 GB of uh, RAM with 16 GB of internal memory. I believe this is expandable as well. We will find that out soon. And we have true quad core 64 bit processor. So from what I know, this phone is powered by the MT6735 chip. This is a quad core chip running at 1 gigahertz. The other difference between the Note 3 Lite and the Note 3 is the fact that this one gets a smaller display. This is a 5 inch 720p display. The Note 3 has a larger 5.5 inch display which is also 720p. So let us now check out the physical aspects of the phone. Like I already mentioned, this is the 5 inch display that the phone comes in. And we have the camera and the proximity sensors and the earpiece over here. At the bottom we have capacity button, the back key, the home button and the uh, options key over here. On the left side of the phone we have the volume rocker keys and the this is the power button. At the top we have the 3.5mm audio jack and at the bottom we have the primary microphone and the uh, micro USB port here. Moving on to the back we have the 13 megapixel camera, this is the LED flash over here. And this is the fingerprint scanner. We also have a secondary microphone at the back. And we have speakers, grills over here with the Coolpad logo on the top. So uh, when we open the back panel, we see that there is no removable battery on this device. We have the two SIM card slots over here. This is the SIM 1 and this is the SIM 2. And at the bottom, we have the micro SD slot, uh, card slot over here. The battery capacity is not clearly mentioned, so I'll have to check out the official documents of the phone to confirm that for you well we'll do that once the video is live let us now power on this device for the first time i 
I will actually connect the Wi-Fi so that I can uh, download a few apps to show you the complete specifications of the device. So I'll just try doing that. So I have connected the Wi-Fi. I'll complete the setup process once again. So this is what the UI on the Coolpad Note 3 Lite looks like. This is exactly similar to the one you have seen on the Coolpad Note 3. Uh, this is the cool uh, OS that the custom OS that uh, Coolpad uh, devices run. I'll quickly move into the settings menu to show you the Android version that the phone is running. So this is running Android 5.1.1. Lollipop of course. We are unsure if this will get an upgrade to Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Let me go back and show you the storage capacity of this device. So in the storage we have a 16 GB of space available and we also have a micro SD card slot at the back which I have already shown. Let me check the other options that we have as you can see in the lock screen and security we have a fingerprint management over here. We will need to set up the screen lock first in order to use the fingerprint scanner. I will be not doing that right away. Uh, because uh, we will be doing a detailed review of this phone in the days to come as well. Let me just uh, quickly show you the other important aspect of the phone which is the camera menu. So this is what the camera UI on the device looks like. So we have a very iPhone like uh, UI. So you have to swipe to switch between the video, the photo mode and the pro mode over here. Let me just uh, check out the video. In the video mode we have the settings for 1080p video and 480p video and 720p we also have an effect options over here so a lot of effects in case you want to shoot your video with filters and apart from that uh, we do not have anything let me check into the photo options so we have an HDR mode and we also have the effect mode uh, in the photo options and in the photo settings we have delayed shot brightness a touch shutter uh, location can be turned on and off, uh, detect scene and we also have an advanced settings tab where we have the preview size as uh, the storage path and uh, that is where you can store the Im images by default. The shutter sound uh, can be turned off and a fast capture mode is also available where you can double click the volume uh, down button to enable quick uh, capture. So even when the phone is turned off you can quickly take a picture. Uh, this is the camera reset button over here. Uh, the device will also get a front camera. So, the front camera we have uh, the beauty mode is turned on by default. You can toggle the option here to increase or decrease the beauty uh, mode. And here too, we have the settings for HDR, and there's a setting for brightness as well. In the video mode, We have the front camera can take pictures in 720p and 480p resolution. The effect is also here. I'll quickly turn back to the camera mode and I'll check out the uh, pro mode. So this is what the pro mode looks like. You might have already seen this kind of UI on other devices. This is the focus mode here. You can manually set the focus. This is the ISO. It goes uh, from auto to 100 and goes uh, until 800 this is the exposure value you can go to minus 3.0 to plus 3.0 and we have the white balance settings over here this is auto this is incandescent i believe this is sunlight and this is cloudy that is what the pro mode on this device looks like we will have to take a detailed look at the camera and the image quality to uh, confirm uh, if the camera is really good. Uh, so uh, I have quickly installed a CPU-Z to check out the actual uh, chip that the phone is running on. This is the MT6735 like I correctly guessed. So this has uh, 4 cores running at uh, 1.04 GHz. It is a 28 nanometer process. So we have a Mali-T720 GPU as well. So we have some information about the details. Now the screen size the 720p display and uh, we have uh, around 3 GB of RAM as well. So this is the bat battery status, it is a lithium ion battery. We still do not have the battery capacity so that will be out once the phone, the specification of the phone is released officially by Coolpad uh, which uh, we expect uh, later today. 
so that was a quick look at the coolpad note 3 light this like i already mentioned is the smaller version of the coolpad note 3 which was launched a few months ago uh, we are still unsure about the official price of this device so this should be somewhere between the 7000 and the 8500 mark because the higher variant of this phone is already available at rupees 8999 uh, so uh, in case you have any queries and questions regarding this device please please do let us know in the comment section below you can also expect a detailed review of this phone in the days to come uh, this is uh, rahul srinivas uh, signing off for mysmartprice.com thanks a lot